Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. And tonight's plan, in between the cleaning of the shop, is I need to get the lead screw out of this so I can cut the uh, keyway for the handle. Now my plan is to remove the, the, the lead screw, and then I'm gonna cut it with this machine. What I'm gonna do is I have a XY vice, a very heavy duty XY vice that has a you know, hand cranks on it. It's just a keyway for a handle. It'll be plenty accurate. It'll work. So we'll uh, get this thing out today and we'll set it up and we'll have it cut the uh, keyway for its own lead screw. <laughs> so this side's out. So in theory, if I take all this stuff off, I think I'll just be able to thread it out of there, I think. So let me get set up, and hopefully this will be a very quick video. So my thinking is, removing these, the bearings in here is what's keeping it from, you know, pulling out just, you know, threading it with a ratchet. So I take these guys off. I want to take this off anyway to uh, clean everything in there. Doing this in between. This is my me time break from cleaning the shop. So that video, I really want to get that video out Monday. So far I've spent probably a hard 24 hours cleaning and reorganizing the shop. So you guys better watch it and better tell all your friends. <laughs> but no, it's, it's come along nicely. Okay, so take these out. As you see, someone already made this end over here, which is interesting. I don't know if, I'm sure the handle was on the other side. I'm not sure exactly why it was missing when I got this mill. I would think that'd be a somewhat difficult piece to just randomly lose. But again, for the price I paid for this, I was willing to overlook a few things. Okay. So now, in theory, I hope Okay, I need to break this loose. The tension or stiction or whatever. Yeah, it's moving the whole table, and that's not exactly what I want it to do. So let me get a little thing I can get behind there and see if I can knock that loose. So I'll bring you back. Okay, like as soon as I was done, I just took this part off. Which is actually, you know, cut a keyway and everything in this and put a steel bushing in it. So... I don't think this was original, but whoever uh, made that, you know, it kind of looks and feels like this was a skateboard wheel at one point. And then, you know, this guy slid off. So now, in theory, let me scooty poo you a bit. This should thread out, and it is. Cool. Okay, there's no reason for you to watch me turn this out for I got like another two feet to go. So I'll bring you back when I have it out. Okay, the lead screw is out. And yeah, that's really all as simple as it is. If you ever have to pull the, the lead screw for your milling machine, just take off both 
end pieces and it'll thread right out. I'm liking that it's pretty uniform. Sometimes when he's got a lot of wear, they'll get thinner in the middle here. This looks really good. Also be a good opportunity to clean this. Both sides look pretty much identical. This one still has a spacer on it. So yeah, what we'll do this weekend is we'll get the XY vise on here, dial it in, uh, get the head obviously upright, and we'll cut that keyway for this handle. I think that'll work plenty good for what we're doing. Obviously, the best way would be to clamp it on the table in the way, I mean, the T-slot there. And the way the, the handle was on there, you know, I could, I don't want to use a horizontal cutter and have a lot of lead in, you know, the radius as it were. So I just put an end mill on this and call it good. So yeah, very cool. That took about as long as I was hoping it would take. Now back to the shop cleanup. <laughs> this is Adam from Small Down Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.